Welcome back to UBC TV. This is Tim Moss for Artists Exposed. What a special day. Look who I have here. Mwah. The wonderful Daniel DeCrisio. Did I say De that correctly? DeCrisio. DeCrisio. Yes, you did say it correctly. <laughs> you did. You did. I yes. did. You get a gold star for that. Oh, good. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing fabulous. Although, you know what? The traffic in New York, I am like yeah. freaked. <gasps> I'm totally freaked. But you know, it's been gorgeous here since I've been here. Uh -huh. I mean, it's been amazing. I love New York. I have a whole new affinity for New York. Right. Now, you are you drive here. Nobody in New York drives. I know. I always end up, well, it's either I get a limo and then I get too control freakish. Yeah. And I'm like, I need my own car, so I rent a car. Okay. You know? And I love it. Then I can drive out to Coney Island. I can do whatever I wanted yeah. to, you know? Yes. Well, you live in L.A., so you're used to the driving. Oh, yeah. I love it. Well, I'm a uh -huh. driver. I can put 60,000 miles in a year on a car oh with no problem. Uh -huh. So that's why I don't lease. Yeah. <laughs> Just get unlimited mileage. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> but no, originally, see, originally like years ago, I went to Lee Strasberg in New York. Oh, okay. So, so I got accepted there. York. Yeah, I got uh -huh. yeah, I got accepted there. I did a little bit with all my children. Uh -huh. I had a little five lines and under deal kind of thing. Oh, fine. And then um, I got too big for my britches, and I'm like, I'm gonna be flown in. There. Because yeah. I want to live in the sun. So uh -huh. I ended up going to Scottsdale <laughs> for a while, and then. By accident, Los Angeles, and now I'm a uh -huh. LA guy. Yeah, I'm a Beverly Hills boy. Well, let's get to know Daniel DeCrisio oh, a little you really bit. Want to? Oh no. God! <laughs> so where where are you from originally? Like, where did you grow up, and yeah. how did you become Mr. Fabulous? Oh uh, well, thanks. You're so sweet. <laughs> um, no, I'm originally from Wilmington, Delaware. I was born and raised oh, okay. there, and my father's in real estate, and my mm -hmm. mother was, you know, a homemaker part partner with that business as well uh -huh. and I um, had a really cool upbringing I mean I was rebellious though of course I can't imagine that <laughs> <laughs> but I did, I did a lot of things I loved music I like to play sports I but the thing was I was I got intellectually bored so quickly with things uh -huh. so I was like can I change schools can I do this I was always doing things wow. my mother's like yeah but you have friends and all that you know and I'm like no I want to move I want to do things and so uh -huh. you know that's how we become us yeah right it's right. innate so you've always <laughs> you've always been that explorer that out, always oh, going out there, honey, if there's looking. A dark, and if there's a dark alley, I'm walking down it. <laughs> Trust me, I'm serious. I don't care. I don't care if it's one in the morning. I'm walking down a dark alley just I to see. It. I Face love it. I love it. Fears, you know. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And just curiosity. Of course. Well, they say curiosity killed the cat. I'm like, well, I have nine lives, so I don't care. Yeah. You know, whatever. <laughs> Bring it on, bitch. Bring it on, bitch. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> well, my God, what a, a, a history. Um, uh, let, uh, so so you live you left Delaware and where did you go from there? Well, I actually came up here, but then I was like, I want to be in hot weather. Believe it or not, uh -huh. I love being. I like to swim. I'm a swimmer. I used to do triathlons. Okay. So I was like Arizona because we used to go for family vacations in Scottsdale. Okay. So I ended up there. I went to school there and lived that life for a while. And then I ended up on my birthday with a friend going to L.A. and I took them there and. I had no interest in going there. I was going to go to Japan. Uh -huh. I was going to move to Japan, wow. to Tokyo, uh -huh. seriously. And then all of a sudden, I got, that day, I got a calendar offer when I was walking down the street, and the guy was a major photographer. I didn't know until I got home and checked them out. Back then, this was before internet. Right, exactly. So, yeah, but then all of a sudden, it was like Jose Bear came into my life. Uh -huh. Doing hair because I always did hair. My mother's idea. Uh -huh. She was like, I know you can do hair because I was going to undergrad for communications. Uh huh. Because I wanted to be a newscaster. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. But um, now she you know mothers. They know uh -huh. music and hair, and then all of a sudden, bam. But no, so I ended up at Jose, and um, I actually became his assistant for a while because. They do hair so differently in there back uh -huh. then. They didn't uh -huh. do blowouts and all that back then. You know, that was something new. So in Beverly Hills, it was a little intimidating. First day was oh, Cher and her mother. Her yeah. Cher and her mother first day. Cher? No, and swear. Oh. I was like, and then he's like, you know, go do them. I'm like, oh, stop. Well, I'm like, what are you talk about? Even though, <laughs> you know, now Cher and I are friends, but back then it was like a trip. I'm talking to her mom with this round brush going, so. How share? Oh. You know, it's like, what are you supposed to say? I mean, <laughs> how fabulous! Acting like you're not interested, though. You know, yeah, that's right. You can't act like a fan. It's, it's you know, commonplace. <laughs> <I> know, <right? laughs> but no, so you know, went on. I became one of their top stylists in the whole business and um, partnerships and all that kind of stuff came about. And then I, I love that. This is how it happened. How you? I love him. I love how. I mean, and you were telling me some other things where again, it just kind of fell into it, and I. Love love how you just live your life you just oh what's this what's that what's down yeah. this dark alley oh, what's course. over here what's over there and it, it always things just come to you I love that well here's the cliff notes okay so basically I got really well known to working at J 
shows. I had lots of clients, lots uh -huh. of celebrities, and that was my introduction as a small town boy, kind of, you know. Uh -huh. But then what happened was I got pulled into the OJ thing, OJ Simpson, you uh -huh. know, because OJ used to come to the salon with Paula Barbieri, oh and of course we'd all talk, and then Faye Resnick was my client, and Cato, and all these people, and then Star Jones, who was his voice for the civil trial. Oh my God, I knew them all. I'd go to their oh houses and this and that. But it, you know, that was what kind of put me on the map again. But I didn't get the kind of recognition back then uh -huh. as I got when I did Paula Jones for Jones versus Clinton. Right. Because uh -huh. I did her makeover, which was another by accident. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a call that I'm going to this deposition. I have to fly there in four hours or something. And I'm like, where am I going? And I got scared. Seriously, I was scared because I'm like, wait a minute, they're going to blow this plane up or what? Because she's suing Clinton. And you know how well liked yeah, Well, this was, this was Paula Jones who was suing Clinton this for... Uh, before, yeah, sexual harassment. Right. And this was the precursor to Monica because I knew about Monica God. before the world. Wow. So, because that was brought up in the deposition. Uh -huh, and that wasn't, right. Monica wasn't really known yet, kind of. Yeah. So, but the thing was, you know, I went and I was like, um, but the thing was as bad is I got tagged right wing. And I wasn't you taking, got what? tagged right wing Republican. Oh, uh -huh. Because they were supposedly right wing. Oh, right, exactly. But and I everybody. My, yeah, I was doing my job. Right, exactly. You know, at the time I'm doing my job. And, yeah. um, and was, again, I mean, if you get, if you get uh, called in, you've got to testify. I mean, you've got to tell what you know. Well, yeah, but see, the thing was with her makeover, Paula Jones, it was the biggest in history, they say, and the Washington Post had the most jaw-dropping makeover and all that. But the thing was, it was all by accident. She wanted another permanent. Uh -huh. And I got a call, you know, and I go oh, to do it. And I said, God. I am not doing that. And she never had her hair done like I was thinking. So this was all just my creation. Wow. And then she went to a press conference and bam. Uh-huh. And then it was like, Daniel DeCrisio, call him, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Geraldo, call Daniel, you know. So, oh my God. Uh, yeah, but even Fox News, you know, Shep Smith, call Daniel, you know. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I did a lot of things. and um, But, you know, the deposition was interesting and flying with Paula, you know, because I knew her a different way than the public did. So, right, I, uh -huh. yeah, but, um, yeah, and then I had to go on TV and talk about Monica when she came out. Oh, and, my God. I mean, all of a sudden, like, my career just went. Right. And Jose was gone. I was out of there. So, I was. Yeah. Uh, only one queen in that castle. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't wear a cowboy hat, so you know what I mean. Yeah. So I can actually wear, wear my hair. No, so, oh, we love Jose. <laughs> no, I have to give him credit. He gave me my, my break there. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, you got to give credit. You know how it is. Uh huh. So, my goodness, that I was talk a lot. And talk and talk. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Sorry. That was a lot. Oh my God. So, that so that, notes. <laughs> yeah, right. And that kind of landed you on the national stage, international, international stage. Yes. Yeah. I was getting calls from BBC everywhere. I was doing uh -huh. all these shows and clients and all over the world. I mean, it was interesting. And I mean, what huge media coverage. I mean, the OJ Simpson, OJ Simpson, uh, Paula Jones right. and Bill Clinton scandal. My scandal. God. There's You're Daniel. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I love that. It's true. I'm serious. Anything I do, I even got involved in the Condit Levy scandal. If you remember that back then. Oh my God, yes. Oh yeah, I did his his mistress at the time. I've got flown up there to do her and uh -huh. for this thing. And but not got, the one that he killed. But no, somebody. no, of course. Well, yeah, I do cadavers. Yes, <laughs> I'm a mortician. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And I love this because, um, and obviously no stranger to scandal because he insisted that we sit here with the Plaza Hotel overlooking our shoulder. I oh love Oh my that. god, I know. <laughs> well, everybody keeps saying I'm a supporter of Trump. I'm like, okay, whatever. But you know what? I We know him. My family knows him. And uh -huh. people I know, just like the Knicks and Eisenhowers right. know him. We, that I just had dinner with last night and um, I've known them a while. But see, when you know somebody... It's a little different, but everybody's a prick once you know them. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to defend them, you know, but hey, you know what I mean? It's like, it is what it is. He is the president now. Yeah. So we need to move on, even if you're Democrat, whatever, to Republican or whatever you are. Uh -huh. Just, you know, we, if you don't have to like it, though, who yeah. said you have to like it? Right, right. That's what, that's what America's about. You have uh -huh. your choice, you know? But um, since the internet, you see how everyone's... Like oh voicing like crazy made it like a yeah. hundred times worse than ever. Yeah, yeah. You know? But yeah. So we're in front of the Plaza Hotel here in New York City, the fabulous plaza right across from the fabulous. right across from well, Central Park. That's where I'm staying, yes, so exactly. why not, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so um, now you are also you have a couple of singles out right now. Oh, I've been doing music since the 90s. I released right. a CD uh -huh. called Sin, and it was distributed through Tower Records internationally. Mm -hmm. And 
and um, I actually um, had this song called Take Me to the Other Side that I wrote. I wrote all my music. I write the music and words and all that. But um, PWL, who does Dead or Alive, Kylie Minogue and all them, uh -huh. they remixed Take Me to the Other Side. Nice. So I had a major hit with that. And then I got a call from Grace Jones to open for her because she loved the song. Uh -huh. And I was just like, that's my life, though. So I'm like I sitting there that. going. Once again, like fell into my it. nails. And also I'm like <laughs> flipping my hair. And then I go, who called? Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> sure. What are they offering? What's the deal? Okay. <laughs> so fun. And I love, I love, um, I love your stories. I mean, they're just, they're so fascinating. But again, backing up, OJ, Paula Jones, yeah, um, Grace Jones, Every and Jones. you're, yeah, <laughs> and you're only 25. I'm only 25. Right. And I did this when I was like 10, I think, wasn't I, or nine? Yeah, yeah. And then I went to law school, so you can't even figure my age. Don't go there. Law school? Now everyone's Googling Daniel's yeah. age. <laughs> you know. But, and guess what? It's wrong anyway, so I don't care. Go look. Because <laughs> one of my friends on there, it says they're 102. Oh. No, I'm serious. So don't trust that either. <laughs> oh, wow. So don't believe his age that you find on the internet. On no, the that I'm 75? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I had my face lifted. I yeah. You know, Botched actually asked me to be on the show. Oh, stop it. Because they said of my career and they were like approached me. And they you said, mean of the people that you know? No. For, well, be, they wanted me on the show uh -huh. because they said, considering you're the messiah of makeover, because that's what yeah, I got from Paula right. Jones. Okay, that's my uh -huh. tag. So the thing was, they said, well, considering, you know, you do all these people and they're all plastic surgery and hair and the, it's probably your time now. We'll do you because you probably have so much work. And I go, what? Oh, I didn't have anything done yet at all. <laughs> and they go, get out of here. Nothing. Not even a Botox. I said, no, nothing yet. <laughs> Nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say that today. So, I love that. You know, but yeah, I'll be there soon. <laughs> I'll be like like this, you know. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> so I'm a botch next season. <laughs> <laughs> but botch calls, you're like, don't make me bitch slap you. Exactly. Seriously. Exactly. Yeah. My God. Yeah. So tell us about your music. Tell us yeah. about your so song. So back to the music. Yeah. So um, I did a new song just recently, last November, called X Sex. Yeah. And I had. John Barrymore and Sally Kirkland in the video was uh -huh. doing cameos. Yes, I saw. And, I loved that. Oh, I love. I just loved it. I was like so happy with that. And um, the thing was, it, it's it's what I want to do. Like I'm like this. I hate to say chameleon. That sounds really tacky. But I, I'm diverse. I love mm -hmm. so many different things. But I do them. I think well. Uh huh. So right. why not? You only live once. Why do you have to do one Absolutely. thing? That's boring. So of course we do X sex and that was great. It went everywhere and blah blah blah. And now I'm doing shows for it. But I also got a wild hair. Get uh -huh. it, hair. And um, <laughs> I wanted to do an unplugged version of some of my songs. They're dance songs, all my songs. The reason I do that is because I tried a band before. The egos were too much for me. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. So, you know what? I was like, I'll just do dance music. It's easy. You know, yeah. I'll just do it all myself because I was trained classically in piano and guitars and all that. So, I'll do it. So, mm -hmm. I did it. But the thing was, I got this unplugged idea. And I'm like, I'm going to do two of my hit songs that I've done that are love songs actually, mm -hmm. that are dance songs. Because uh -huh. Take Me Other Side's all about sex again. So uh -huh. I have this like sex addict thing. So, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so I did these two like unplugged versions because people didn't even know I played guitar. Uh -huh. And I'm like, how right. do you not know? Because I thought everyone knew. <laughs> but so no, but I did Only Time Will Tell and um, Love Like Mine. And then everyone like all of a sudden paid more attention to the words. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Right, so, right. But, and I think it's cool. It's a new refreshing angle that I never it thought is. I was going to do. Yeah. Because it's almost like a, a rebirth of the same song. Yeah, it's like, you know, the, the wife beater shirt and like white jeans and a yeah. guitar, you know. <laughs> it's like, take the black off. I'm wearing black, you know. <laughs> it's like, everyone's in shock. They're like, who's that? It's like, no, it's Daniel. Well, now you also act, correct? Yes. That's okay. what I'm saying. Uh, anything. You do everything. I love that. I know. <laughs> What are we going to do about that? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a program for that? Um, a little crazy there. No, so yeah, I act. Um, like I said, I was um, accepted to Lee Strasberg right uh -huh, down there. Because right. you said Union Station. And I was like, oh my God, we'll do it in front of Lee oh, Strasberg. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but um, so yeah, so I did that. I did a little, bow, a little stint with um, all my children. And then I ended up going to LA and then everything started happening. I did The Extraordinary with Mickey Rooney. Wow. Uh, I was wow. his angel. Uh-huh. Of course, so you know, the cool. gossamer hair, he says, the uh -huh. gossamer hair. And my hair gets me a lot of gigs. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> no, so I did Todd TV reality shows. That came in all of a sudden reality shows. So yeah. I did Todd TV with Brett Michaels. And then I ended up doing, my biggest thing was with Sasha Baron Cohen uh -huh. with Bruno. I love it. And love it. I, honest to God, I'll say it again. I always have to say this. 
I had no idea who he was. Uh huh. Because they paid well, they sent a limousine, they did everything, but it was Stefan from Austrian Music Television. <laughs> so I'm thinking this guy's, and they told me, be wild over the top because this guy's wild. But uh -huh. I didn't think, I just thought it was MTV in Austra Austria. So who the hell's going to see it? But I'll never forget, I was like two hours of filming and his breath was so bad. But <laughs> the thing was, I was everywhere and I didn't know who he was still. And then uh -huh. all of a sudden my friends were like, you don't know? And I'm like, no, who is this? <laughs> and then all of a sudden I found out. And then I went to the premiere because I was involved in the movie. They filmed me for that. And then I saw him at the after party. I'm like, I'm going to get you. Good. And then I kissed him. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But it goes on. I mean, I've done so many shows. The Gossip Queens, which was on Logo. Um, uh-huh. You know, even the movies like um, The Vamp Biker's Trace. Uh -huh. You know, that movie. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> no, but then Fox News Channel, I've been like the, the corresponding or, you know, guest appearances on that. Uh -huh. um, God, I've done so many things though, I can't even think. I'm serious. But that's what I mean. I love that, that you just go. I've done, you actually, do I've done over 35 shows. Wow. But it's funny because if you ask me right now to say them, I'm yeah. going to go blank. But <laughs> Jay Leno, you know, all these things I've been on. So, uh -huh. yeah. How fun. You just got such a fun, exciting life. I love that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So fun. So exciting. <laughs> yes. Then you go home and feed cats. No. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I do because I also write for an animal magazine. I do celebrity interviews another thing okay can we do this list of resume wait my resume throw down here so no <laughs> yeah because each one of those things that's what I love each one of those things there are people who specialize and spend their whole life doing any any of those those no, categories well, or professions a, a and you can yeah but you can move from this world to that world and this one to that I love that that's so creative that shows a very creative mind. I think that has a deal with my I hate to say astrological sign being an Aquarian uh-huh um, even though people say they're a little like what's the word like not crazy but they like you know they're not the norm they're out of the box uh -huh. that's what I am yeah but I have so many different diverse interests that I always say well you only live once why just do one thing and I get I bored agree. I agree and I'm telling you one thing when I signed up to study law okay this uh -huh. was like I graduated in 2006 from that wow and I was the only one like this in the room okay uh -huh. And everyone else was like that look, you know, the lawyer look. Yeah, right. So right. the thing was, though, my brain, it woke me up and I got all creative again. Like, you need to get out of your own way sometimes and do yeah. new things. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even if you're great at what you do, it's fun to do new things, see new things. And you only live once to so do it all. I agree. I agree. Now, how can people find out more about you? Just Google you? <laughs> <laughs> Read the bathroom wall. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm all over the internet, all over social medias, Facebooks and Instagrams mm -hmm. and all that. It's all my name. Daniel DeCrisio uh -huh. and I have DanielDeCrisio.net and um, oh I also did a song with Trax Records too yes so uh -huh. yeah I did that too and we did a great remix with Carmelo Carone from Milan and you uh -huh. know because Rachel Scream and Rachel and all them you know yes. it's so much fun uh -huh. but um yeah but um, yeah but you can find me anywhere all over the internet and um, uh -huh. my phone number's there too <laughs> so <laughs> but not his age <laughs> oh my god everybody just go look up my age just go look it up all right because <laughs> he's 25 damn it 25 with postage and handling okay <laughs> Jeez, it's like what more can we have <laughs> well thank you I so appreciate you're taking a little bit of time here and uh, acquainting yourself with us we really appreciate that I just was at um, Times Square because yeah. my agents over there uh -huh. and I just bumped into the naked cowboy and I know him oh, yeah, sure. so we were like I was taking photos for him for a second with these women and uh -huh. I'm like he's the best and I go he goes well come here take some photos and we take photos I'm like <laughs> show me your ass I'm like come on <laughs> but I'm a New Yorker see I know the New Yorker thing so. <laughs> I love it well Daniel DeCrecio now spell your last name Capital D, small I, capital C, R I S C I O. Okay. And Daniel, D A N I E L. Daniel DeCrecio.net or right. on all all social media. Exactly. Absolutely. And I have my Facebook is Daniel DeCrecio Official. That's the one with the little blue verification mark. So yes, yes. That's absolutely. the one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, Daniel DeCrecio, thank you so much. Oh, this was there? absolutely. Mwah. Are you going to be there tonight? Because I'm performing tonight, remember? Oh, right. No, I can't. Yes, because I was oh. supposed to I go perform. Were. I was supposed to go perform at, at this 
same event have you that you're going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I would have. I definitely Buy would cash. have. But I have another. I have another. Uh, another yeah. engagement or another commitment. So, mm. but I'm so sorry. I was hoping that we would. We would get to hang out. We're going to do what? Lovecraft tonight. That's <laughs> yes, what absolutely. Love yeah, craft. I'll be there with tonight. with uh, Jerry. With Jerry, Jerry Visco. Visco. I love Jerry. Is she wild? Oh my gosh, she's my favorite. I love her to death. <laughs> you know. So. Well, we should do like a little number. Take it out with a little number. What song? What would be a good? Jerry party? Well, no. <laughs> we'll do Jerry party for her. How about no. what's love got to do? You pick one. Go do for it. it. What's love? What about my songs? No, I'm just kidding. Songs, <laughs> oh, <yes. I'm> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's a little too much. What do you do? Time will tell. How about that one? Okay, go Here ahead. Here we go. Okay. Only time will tell just how you feel about me. Only time will tell. Open up your heart. Let me inside. All right. There you go. You got it for me. Mwah, thank you so much. Daniel DeCrisio. How wonderful. Oh, this is so much fun. And we have the plaza. So if you need, right need me, us. here I am. Absolutely. Late night, late night booty calls accepted. All right. We're out. Bye, guys.